Hello everybody, in this video we will talk about DSP section in Catron keyboard, Catron SD9 SD90. Now, we will choose one style and we will play that style. Here is DSP section. Whatever is here chosen in DSP, DSP section, uh, it will affect style, behavior of the style. Whatever, it will, we will be able to hear it in the style. So now, let us go into the style. If we press view and here in style, we can see that we can, we, we can change some stuff here in a mixing of the style. Pan, reverb, chorus, EFX. So this EFX is connection between this part of the keyboard and DSP section. So that is DSP section. Now I will show you how it works. If we go in this EFX for on this guitar, very ba bass guitar, let's say this fusion guitar, and now if we engage DS here e EFX, and if we change chorus to to loudness, now if you go to DSP section, you can see now this effect is loudness. It was chorus, but we change it. It is loudness, and now it will work and when we play look at that now we have more loudness less loudness we are controlling loudness so whatever we want to make here and there is a lot of possibility you can choose one of those effects compressor or loudness or we can go to view and we have several effects each of them we can engage, disengage, or we can choose one of the options that's offered here in the FX section. Now if I play it, there is disconnected, connected, it works. Now we can just add, but if we go to style editing mode, in this part where is EFX, if it's not engaged here, then it doesn't work. Then when we go again to a DSP section and we want to here work with this, nothing. It is not working. So, not working because there is connection between DSP menu, that section, and style editing mode. Every style can save different DSP section. So if we exit from here, if we choose Ballad 1, and if we press DSP, we can see it's Rotary, Chorus, and other effects. But if we choose another style, Pop style, DSP, there is Chorus, not anymore Rotary. If we go to one user style, it doesn't matter which one, let me go, uh, okay, exit from here, go, to user style, not instrument, style, user style, this one. If we go to that style, DSP section, we can see that its loudness is engaged. And now we manipulate with that loudness. Because that loudness is here in style editing mode is engaged here. If we disengage that, we will not have loudness. There is no loudness. If we change it in something else, phaser, but we have to engage it. And phaser, DSP, is now phaser. But we can choose it here as well, some combinations. And whatever we choose, we have to make sure that it's synchronized with style editing mode and saved for that style. And that is how it works. Some of you uh, didn't actually know exactly how that works and you thought that something is wrong with SD9, so, but uh, you missed something in uh, information how to operate SD9. Now you got this information from me. Thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully it will help many of you to solve that problem about SD. 90 as the 9 with DSP section
uh, and uh, style editing mode. See you in my next video. All the best.